Hi there, this is Pep8 tutorial and today I'm going to show you how we you how we use a division by three by odd number like a three. So first of all I will start with my code. Also this is my last um tutorial on Pep. Uh, so I will not make any more Pep tutorials. Uh, okay, let's start with the code. So num1 as the first variable. Uh, num2 and I will also have the result and main ok so I start with my code now I declare my variables I can start with my code first of all I will need input so decimal input and number 1 I will load number 1 and I will store that in number two. So number number two will have the same value at the beginning as number one as the input. And now what I do is load a uh, result, uh, I mean zero, and I will store it in result. Okay. So now I can start with my loop. So loop, loop, and now I load. And number two, I subtract, and because this will be then divide by three example, I will I will subtract three, and I will store it in number two. Uh, I will come back to this later on. Okay, so um, I'll load now a result and add one and yeah, sorry and store in result okay so what i need to do now is to compare first of all i will load and uh, number two and i will compare it with three because it's a division by three and if it's a uh, greater or equal to i will go to loop and else I will decimal output my result and I will stop the program now and end it okay so that's the program done now uh, let me show you how it works first and then I will um, explain everything so I input 9 9 divided by 3 should be 3 yeah that's correct and if I input for example 12 should be 4 21 7 22 it will be still set as you know we don't have point something so <clears throat> the thing is um as i said the subtract free why subtract free uh, because each time for example the number is free yeah so i have free as a number two now because i um input free i load it and i store it in number two so number two is free result is zero and I load number two, I subtract three, so I will subtract the same number I have, so it will be zero. I store number in two, so that's zero now. I load result, I add one, and I store result. Now I load number two and compare it to three. It's not greater or equal to, because it's zero now, the number two is zero now. So I will not loop it, and I will just display the result. So if I just uh, run this, you will see one because 3 divided by 3 is 1 and if I change this for example to 6 I will do the loop 2 times so that's how it works and um, um, what can I also say um, how can you do for example different number um, so if for example you, ha you have to do uh, division by 5 so you change this number to 5 to subtract 5 each time and also you compare it to 5 so if I run this now, with for example 10, I will have answer as a 2, oh, 15, answer as a 3. So it is very simple, it's not some kind of dark magic, <laughs> I would say, but there is also one thing we can do. So for example, if I divide by 5, yeah, and I say 4, it will not work. And why is that? Uh, because we can't display... Um, 
zero point something numbers I think I, I, I would need to use different variables for that reason but as I said I, I will not teach you that because I teach you basic only so what you can do is only divide by the number you divide so by five and higher like this so you can have six as well you will not see the point something but it will it will divide it and uh, uh, the same rules apply for 7 and 9 and stuff like this so you can just do them and as I said it, uh, the number will initially be divided by the same number so you can't have for example 4 because it will be just 1 uh, okay so that's the, that's the program as I said if you want to change division uh, you can just change it here and the comparison you just change those two the rest of the program stays the same um, that's it for this tutorial and um, I hope it's useful for you also uh, visit my webpage and YouTube channel and also if you like this uh, um, subscribe I will have loads of more tutorials and um, uh, also next uh, two weeks or, or something like this I will I will release new tutorials on on um, new programming so I hope you will like them also, um, there will be a surprise, I think, yeah, I will do the surprise on, um, on December for you, for, for the Christmas, in PEP, but that will not include some kind of program that is useful, it's just to show you what can you do with PEP and um, it will be like Christmas special. So look forward to that as well, and I will see you um, on other tutorials next time. And bye.